Hey, I heard you took care of Rook. Pretty impressive. Oh, it was nothing. Just another day at the office. You know, Tex, it must take quite an effort to be lonely, broke, and still so smug. I have talents that money can't buy, and some that I charge for. Oh, how intriguing. So, is there something you came to ask me about? Wish I could help you there, Tex. Apparently, it's a real hot item. The top commodities dealer in the city is named Franco Franco. He probably either has the statuette or knows who has it. I don't know how you're going to find him, but if you do, be careful. Hiya, Murphy! Well, you see my new nose! I'm so excited! Mmm! I'm gonna look and feel like a new man! Well, that's swell, Beak. Hope you're feeling grateful enough to answer some more questions. Yeah, sure! Give me thing! I haven't got any info on that. I can't help you there. I've heard his name in connection with some smuggling and illegal importing. I don't know anymore. What else can I help you with, Murphy? I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. Big time crook. Deals with a lot of uh, smuggled artifacts and the like. He's pretty well connected with the mob and black market here in San Francisco. How's it going? You here to do more shopping? No, I came by to get some information from you. <laughs> I sell gadgets, not information. Feel free to look around. But the only questions I answer are about the merchandise. The guy who robbed those pawn shops turned himself in. Can you believe it? Get babbling some about a clown coming back from the dead to haunt him. <laughs> well, I'm sure you would have caught him anyway. Knowing that you were on his trail probably drove him over the edge. That butt kissing of yours must be a hard habit to break, eh, Murphy? You must want something. What? He's a big time crook. Deals with stolen and illegally imported merchandise, especially Jade. Sorry, Murphy. What now, Murphy? Big time crook. Deals with a lot of uh, smuggled artifacts and the like. He's pretty well connected with the mob and black market here in San Francisco. You know, I subscribe to a trade paper called Jewelry Weekly. In the last issue, it seems to me I saw an advertisement by someone named Franco, who was looking to buy Jade. There wasn't anything of interest in the trade paper, so I threw it out. It's probably still in the trash can out back.
Wow, a recyclable paper can. Finally, a glimmer of ecological responsibility. I didn't know Rook cared. This must be the trade paper Rook mentioned. Being a movie buff, I've heard of the Alhambra Theater, though I heard it was closed down years ago. Sure enough, it's boarded up, but one of the back doors is unlocked. As soon as I step inside, two lugs the size of refrigerators grab me. I tell them that I have something for Mr. Franco and one of them walks off. He comes back a minute later and escorts me into the main theater. A Buster Keaton flick is playing. The place is empty except for a man sitting by himself near the front of the theater. Welcome, Mr. Murphy. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Franco. Tell me, do you do most of your business in dark theaters? How and where I do my business is not your concern, Mr. Private Eye. As I'm sure you know, I'm strictly a legitimate businessman. Yeah. You may be legit, but I understand you're pretty jaded. Oh yes, that I am. Speaking of which, did you bring the item? You're wasting my time, Mr. Murphy. Ah, a lovely specimen. It will make a fine addition to my collection. Now, I will answer one question to the best of my knowledge. There's a statuette in the shape of a bird that recently came onto the market. You know who has it? Hmm, I know the statuette you're referring to. There were several bidders for it. But I believe it ended up in the hands of Eddie Ching. I can say no more about it. There. Now I fulfill my part of the bargain. Don't contact me again. Unless, of course, you find another fine piece of jade. You know the way out. Do you have a fax? Do you have a fax? A fax addressed to Tex Murphy from Franco Franco.